Hey there, Nancy Drew Clue Crew. I'm Argolfumph, and this is the 2020 Nancy Drew Games Mega Marathon. Welcome to the live stream, or as I like to call it, the Quarren Stream, because everyone's quarantined at home right now due to the coronavirus. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my. Sounds like a great time to play Nancy Drew Games. The center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. So the premise if you of want this to know game the particulars is... of how I... Nancy is talking while I'm talking. The premise of this game is that Nancy needs to solve a mystery at an exclusive boarding school where somebody's just attacking all the girls. Nancy needs to figure out who the culprit is. And along the way, she's going to find the long lost treasure. I do what I do. The headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. So malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Fast. And so, pretending to be a transfer student named Becca Sawyer, I'm going to go undercover at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. I have to use a fake name instead of my real one because if any of my soon-to-be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, my cover would be blown in an instant. And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact her, which means I'm about to be tossed, totally on my own, into a world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. This could be my scariest case yet. We have someone here in the live stream chat who is not quarantined because they work at a grocery store. A moment of silence for all our grocery store workers who are just being swamped right now. Oh yeah, the grocery stores are just a huge mess. Oh, right now. Uh, every grocery store seems to be out of something. I, I know there's no toilet paper anywhere. Uh, and uh, half the grocery stores seem to have no eggs. Um, there was no vinegar um, this morning when we went grocery shopping. I don't know why people are buying vinegar in bulk, but apparently they are. Uh, oh no, there's a terrible virus. I'd better buy all the vinegar I can find. Hmm. Actually, our local pet stores have been doing uh, pretty well. No, nobody's going to the pet stores in my area. I don't, I don't know how the pet stores are doing in uh, other places. Yeah. So uh, let's get started on senior detective mode. Yes, people keep buying all of the spices, even though spices last for a really, really long time. I think it's because everybody's baking. Now that we've been, you know, you know, everybody's been stuck at home for like one or two weeks now. Everybody's just gotten into baking. Me, I'm not very good at baking. I, I learned how to do cooking as opposed to baking. Because cooking, you just follow the recipe. It's just like these Nancy Drew games. You've got your list of steps and you just follow the list of steps and you're done. Baking actually takes a little bit of skill and talent. And so I'm, I'm just kind of not very good at it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be talking about that. We've got a scary video game right here. This girl got a threatening message. Let me out. Hey. This isn't funny. Oh, and everybody bought a bunch of chips, too, like potato chips. Um, I think that's just because they just want to sit at home and, and watch TV and eat potato chips all day long. I don't think that has anything to do with, with uh, like, people trying to buy food because they're scared they'll be stuck at home forever. I think it's just they want to watch TV and eat potato chips, bro. Hey, you're the new person. Uh, Becca something. Becca Sawyer. I'm Corrine, the person who stuck rooming with you. I mean, you're the person who stuck rooming with me. Anyway, welcome to my, your, uh, our, humble dwelling space. So this is my awkward roommate, Kareen. Yes, and Nancy is posing as Becca Sawyer. Woohoo! You don't mind having a roommate? Not at all. The roommate I used to have, Danielle, she and I got along great. 
What happened to her? She had kind of a bad experience. Got locked in a pitch black closet overnight. See, she was claustrophobic, so when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. I should probably tell you, some of the kids on this floor have been getting these, like, threatening notes from someone calling herself the Black Cat. Well, the first note's a warning, but if you get a second one, something really bad happens to you. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note, and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Somebody's obviously playing a prank, but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. <laughs> anyway, now that you're here, first thing you gotta do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Uh, all my stuff's being shipped from France, Lyon. It'll be here in a couple of days, but please, go on. Anyway, you can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. It's enforced by Paige. Believe me, you do not want to mess with her. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, this floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full ride scholarship to the university of her choice, so it's a pretty big deal. Of course, the only truly viable candidate is me. Wait a minute, you mean the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess that's right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something, or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off her competition. Whatever. It's not going to work on me. So I'm not sure how to feel about Corrine. I don't know whether to feel bad for her because she's awkward, or if I kind of dislike her because she's so desperate to be cool and popular. I, I, I don't know how to feel about her. She, she really does wish she was cool and popular, and that sort of makes everybody not want to hang out with her. Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? Yeah, I got one about three days ago. Really? Where'd you find it? On the floor over there. Somebody slipped it under the door during the night. I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. When she got this, how did she react? She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. What about the second note? There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. What are you working on? You look so busy. Busy? That's the understatement of the year. I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Any normal student would hate having you bug them like this. But then, I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Well, you are technically, but you're not really because I'm so... Never mind. A normal person would hate you. Um, yeah, but I'm not normal. I'm super weird, so I don't hate you? Where's that cello music coming from? Next door. That's Mel Corbelis. Does she ever stop playing? Depends on her mood. When she's really, really down, I'll bet if they didn't give demerits for making noise after hours, she'd play that thing 24-7. Well, guess I'd better go start meeting people. Yeah, I guess you'd better. I'm not so bad, right? What do you mean? It's just that, well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> Never mind. You'll see soon enough. Yeah, 30-page paper, but only six sources. Well, one source every five pages, I guess, is how, how, how you do that. So she only has a week to write a 30-page paper. That's... that's like four pages per day. Wow. Yeah, that's that's crazy times. Oh, and you don't want to go sneaking outside. That, that, that is bad. You will get in trouble. And here's a letter. Someone named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. I feel really bad for, uh... Corrine here, though. We're right next door to the girl who's playing super loud cello music all day long. It's like, ow, my ears! Hi, Becca. So, since you just transferred here and you don't have any work yet, I want you to do my work for me! Thanks so much, Rachel. Oh, that's so nice. Four days. So she has four days to write that 30-page paper. Jeez, that is eight pages per day. 
Yeah, that's that's crazy times. Whoa, watch it! Oh, your hair's on fire. No wonder you're in a hurry. My hair's on fire? Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. I'm Izzy Romero. I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. Where are you from? From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. Chouette alors. Let me have your cell phone. My cell phone? Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. Okay. This way you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. So there's Izzy. Oh boy, nice to meet Izzy. So, uh, yeah, let's let's meet Mel. Uh, uh, no, let's not meet Mel. Let's meet let's meet this Rachel person. I like this game. We've got a bunch of characters, and we can really meet them in any order. So, uh, here's Paige. We can't meet her. You may not come in. Just leave. I want to hang out with you. Not now, please. But 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 but. Sorry, I don't want to be disturbed right now. Fine. You <laughs> gross. Not nice, Blaine. Not nice at all. And let's go to the bathroom one more time. Nancy says silly things when you go to the bathroom sometimes. Cuckoo what? Food. <laughs> And then sometimes she just brushes her teeth like that, and it's gross. E-S-S-E-O. Hey, who wrote that? <laughs> so there's graffiti in the bathroom already saying that Becca Sawyer has bad B.O. How about that? This door's not locked. You can come in. And here's Rachel. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did you see my note? I did if you're Rachel Hubbard. That's me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. So, since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. But I don't know anything about web design. You don't have to. I just need you to do grunt work, take pictures and upload them mostly. The pages I'm designing will be part of the Waverly School website. Oh, somebody just asked what BO is. BO, body order body odor. It means Nancy smells really, really bad. There is already graffiti in the bathroom talking about Nancy's terrible smell. You sure that's not cheating? Positive. It's a design class, not a photography class. What the pictures are of and where they appear on the page are all that's important, and that'll be totally up to me. I know this is kind of weird, but... I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs, I hate cauliflower, my favorite subject's math, and I am desperate. Well, I guess I could help you, sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is... Thank you, kind stranger! Take a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Course. Great. After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I want you to take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. When you're done, report back to me, all right? I may need you to do something else. In the meantime, I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. See you later, okay? And then she leaves. You can hear that music all the way down the hall. Mel, Mel, your music is loud. Come on in. Help. I like the sign on her door. It's like, help, I'm disappearing under a load of laundry. Ah, uh, yeah. Everything's canceled during the quarantine. Like, you know, I can't go to the park. The park's closed off with police tape, actually. I can't go to the library. That's closed. I can't go to the movies. That's closed. But laundry... Laundry is never closed. Laundry will always happen. Read much followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. 
Is this sampler as old as it looks? It's old, that's for sure. My great, great, great grandmother made it. She was in the first class of students to graduate from here. Everybody in my family who attends Waverly has to hang that thing in her room. It's tradition. Did your mother graduate from here? And her mother and her mother's mother ad infinitum. I come from a long line of Waverly grads. I'm what you call a legacy. I was admitted automatically. Yeah, so definitely, uh... Yeah, CEO of the color purple. Yeah, she's got pink, purple, everything here. Pretty awesome. I like these. I don't even know what that is. It's just a head with goggles on it, but it looks pretty awesome. Who are you? Uh, I'm Becca Sawyer. Hi, we were just talking for a while. Um, hi! Hi, I, I, I'm Becca. I just moved into the room next door. Oh yeah, you're the transfer. The one who got kicked out of some school in France? What? No, 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 no. I'm the one who doesn't use deodorant and I smell terrible. What? No, I didn't. Waverly's primary source of all wisdom and truth has been suggesting otherwise. Hey, look, I don't really care, but you got to admit it's kind of weird to be changing schools in the middle of your senior year, and the fewer gory details you provide as to why, the more kids are going to talk. Or should I say text? So I'm the source of rumors already? Welcome to Waverly. Where's your roommate? She's the one who was sent home because of an allergic reaction to something she ate after being cursed by the black cat. Tell me more about this black cat. The black cat is just someone playing an idiotic prank. End of story. Of course, it's not the end of the story for my roommate Megan, who wound up having to go home sick with an allergic reaction that almost killed her. But it's still a stupid prank. Oh my gosh, what exactly happened to her? Look, enough about the black cat. The other girls can buy into that garbage all they want, but the pea brain that's behind this, I refuse to give her the satisfaction. So if you have questions for Megan, I think you should call her yourself. 845-555-1849. Okay. Uh, so we needed to talk to her about her roommate so we could get the roommate's photo. I need to take a close-up of you for a page on the school website I'm helping put up. The school wants my picture on its website? Groovy. Blast away. Yeah. Uh, almost killing somebody is not a prank. That That's a little bit more than a prank, so I would say. So take the picture. I just took the picture! Uh. How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? Probably better than anybody. She doesn't have a lot of friends, but she's incredibly smart. Plus, she's a social outcast, too. So we get along pretty well. Who's smarter, you or Corrine? She thinks she's smarter than everybody and won't hesitate to say so, which I think automatically makes me smarter. It's probably a toss-up. No biggie. No biggie? No biggie? Don't you want to be valedictorian? I'm going to college no matter what. But everyone else wants to be valedictorian so much, I can't resist trying to spoil it for them. <laughs> really? Mel's, Mel just wants to, uh... She doesn't want to win, she just wants everybody else to lose, basically. Where can I find Leela Yadav? I need to take her picture. Leela Yadav is Izzy Romero's roommate. The room's on the other side of the study area. You play that cello pretty well. Thank you. I taught myself to play when I was ten. Do you play any other instruments? Yeah, the keyboard. As in synthesizer, not computer. Although I'm pretty good with computers, too. I'd better get going. Drop in any time. Pretty good with computers, yeah. Okay, so that's it for her, and... Aha! I'm being gossiped about already? That sure didn't take long. <laughs> Nancy, we know you've been gossiped about. Okay, so let's call, uh, let's call Megan. See if we can get that this phone call for her. Hi, not, not the phone call, I mean, see if we can get her picture. Miss Becca Sawyer. I'm a new student at Waverly, and I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions, if that's okay. I mean, I know you've been sick. No, no, go ahead. I'm still kind of weak, but talking on the phone's not going to kill me. Okay, so she left school. Um, now she's quarantined. She's all by herself. What exactly happened to you anyway? I was eating dinner at school three nights ago when all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. And when I tried to stand up, I got so dizzy I fell right over. 
So they rushed me to the hospital, and by the time I got there, I was turning blue, and my blood pressure was down to like 40 over 20 or something. Whoa. I'd gone in anaphylactic shock. But then they pumped me full of epinephrine, so by morning I was all stable and stuff. My parents were real upset. They dragged me home with them, and they still haven't said when they're going to let me go back. I even heard them talking about suing the school. Anyway, now I'm real upset. I really miss Waverly. For the most part. For the most part? Have you ever gone into anaphylactic shock before? Oh, yeah. I've been to the emergency room on account of my allergies so many times, it's ridiculous. See, I'm allergic to tree nuts. Almonds, walnuts, cashews. My mom's always telling me to pay more attention to what I'm eating, but I'm really bad at that. What's up with all this black cat stuff that's going on at Waverly? Good question. All I can tell you is, about ten days ago, someone slipped a note under my door. All it had on it were the words, The black cat wants you to start packing and a paw print with some scratch marks. Weird. Then, about a week later, I got another note. All it said was, time's up. I went to dinner the next night and... Wound up in the hospital. You think whoever sent you that note tampered with your food and deliberately triggered that allergic reaction? I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I've been to the emergency room on account of my stupid allergies so many times, it's ridiculous. And even if someone did put something in my food, I'm still here. I mean, I always recover. It's not like they were trying to kill me or anything. So to answer your question, I wish I knew what the deal with the black cat is, but I don't have a clue. If you had to guess, who would you say the black cat is? Izzy Romero. Why her? Because she's the sneakiest, most spiteful person I've ever known. You've probably met her by now, and I know she doesn't seem that way, but you're new. Just wait. Interesting. Did many kids at Waverly know about your allergies before this last episode? Everybody knew. School policy. That way kids wouldn't give me anything with nuts in it. At least, that was the plan. I'd better let you go. Anyway, it's been real. I'll see you when I get back to Waverly, okay? Right. Bye. Let's see. Yeah, no, we do need to get a picture of Megan Vargas. Um, I forget who who we. Uh, Someone didn't lock their door. I'm here. I forget who we ask. Do we do we need to ask Mel again? Back of the new girl. What's going on? Okay, there we go. Okay, so we we. I I guess I should have asked uh, Mel earlier about uh, Megan. I need a photo of your roommate Megan for the school website. Would you happen to have one? Sure don't. But Leela Yadav might. She and Megan have been palling around lately. Check the rec room downstairs. Okay, good to know. I called Megan Vargas. Yeah? How is she? Haven't you talked to her? No. We're not very close. Ouch. Any particular reason why? We're just not, that's all. I'll let you get back to your music. Sounds good. Makes me wonder, yeah, I wish we could turn around and see, uh, you know, what Megan's side of the room looks like. Are those eyeglasses Megan's? Then I guess, I don't know. It, it would be really cool to see what, what her roommate's side of the room looks like. That's, that's, that's what I say. Oh, and there's a TV. There's a Poppy Dada painting, isn't it? And uh, here we go, Leela. You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back. Becca something? Becca Sawyer. I'm Leela Yadav. Welcome to Waverly. What happened to your wrist? Is there a problem with her wrist? What happened to your wrist? I took a really freak fall and sprained it. I'm supposed to rest it for at least it. a week. That's why I'm in here instead of the gym shooting baskets. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air hockey. Come on, by helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. You want to get off on the right foot here, don't ya? Yeah, but I I don't have time right now. I told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web project. That's too bad. Do you think the black cat had anything to do with your wrist? Well, my falling like that was really weird. I mean, ordinarily, I'm real coordinated. But I think it was just bad luck. Happens to everybody. I mean, look at you, being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. 
Oh, but, 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 Rachel's my friend. Kind of. She makes me do all of her work for her. But we're still friends. I like Rachel. Yeah, well, wait till you get to know her. She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next. Or she'll do something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. Really? See, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. Not that it's working. On me, at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. No way am I gonna let a couple of stupid notes get to me. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website, if that's okay. No problem. Fire when ready. Beautiful. I was told I could maybe get a picture of Megan Vargas from you? Yeah, I've got a picture of her you could use. And if you beat me at a game of air hockey, I'll go get it for you. Isn't your wrist injured? Bring it on. Yes. Okay. First, pick your mouth. Okay, then, even though she's injured, starts, she's playing hit the air puck hockey. With your mouth and try to get it into the goal at my end. And when I hit the puck towards your goal, use your mallet to block it, if you can. You can only use your mallet on your half of the table. First person to score seven goals wins. Got it? Got it. Then let's get it on. Okay, I'll try to take a, a look at her wrist uh, when we play. I mean, when we see her again. Oh, I'm so bad at air hockey, but this is a fun challenge. Oh! Yes. oh, come on. You should not be cheering that. It's not like you did anything to get that goal. Oh, man. And, oh! She shoots. She scores. I was the one who shot that. Goal! Oh, <laughs> no. So has every goal she scored been me scoring on myself? I think it has. Yeah. Okay. Oh, almost. I almost scored there. No, no, no. Point for me. Okay, she actually scored that one. Yay. Point. Yeah, yeah. She can get really annoying when she just does all that trash talking. It's like, oh yeah, I'm so good. Oh yeah, uh-huh. I got a point. Yay. I got a point. Wow, tied game. I might win. I might win this. You win. Kudos. Woo! Guess I owe you Megan's picture. Next time I go upstairs, I'll get it for you. Want to play again? Uh, no thank you. No thanks. Need anything else? Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? Not if I can help it. Who does hang out with her? Mel Corbelis and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. I've bugged you enough for now. That's all right. I'm kind of waiting for my boyfriend to call. He goes to Oxborough? That's the boys' school just down the road. Talking to you helped kill the time. I'll see ya. That's not very nice. Okay, so here you can see her wrist. It does look like there's something on her wrist. And what's behind her? Is that a scopa table? I'm gonna assume that's a scopa table. Yeah. Let's see, we have a hidden key here, unless I'm mistaken. Found it. Yeah. In the closet where Danielle was locked. Uh, let's talk to Izzy. 
We need to talk to Izzy in order to work the computer. So, we'll get her picture and get the computer working. Bonjour! Unfortunately, that and Chouette Delore are all the French I know. Hey, my condolences on your roommate assignment. You know, it might not be too late to get it changed. You don't like Corrine either? Nobody likes Corrine. Why not? Because she's Corrine. And yeah. Corrine is just not cool. But look, don't worry. Everyone knows rooming with Corrine wasn't your idea. As long as you don't hang out with her, nobody's going to hold it against you. Sounds like who you hang out with around here is pretty important. Hey, this is the real world. It's important no matter where you are. Now I'm lucky. My roommate's Lila Yadev, athletic superstar and savior of Waverly's athletic program. We actually get along fine. Probably because we're pretty much equals. Everyone knows who she is, and everyone knows who I am. A word to the wise. Avoid hanging out with your roommate as much as possible. Okay, if I take a close-up of you, Rachel needs it for the school website. Rachel roped you into helping her, huh? Lucky you. Your first day, you get to spend it with every loser in our class. Ready for my close-up, darling. I mean, it's starting to sound like Izzy just hates everybody in school besides her roommate. Basically, I, I, she doesn't like Rachel. I don't think she likes Mel or Corrine. Do you like Mel? What's your take on Mel? All that edgy, free spirit, deep thinking stuff is just an act. She knows she can't cut it here, so she's making it look like she doesn't care. Maybe she really doesn't care. Everybody cares what other people think. In fact, if they don't, they're psychopaths. I just learned that in AP Psych. Apparently, I need to get a password from you before I can use the school's computer. That's right. Unfortunately, I need to finish this DNA model before I can give it to you. Too bad, huh? Want me to help you? Sure, you bet. Excellent idea. Okay, here's what you need to do. You just have to make sure adenine is always paired with thymine and cytosine is always paired with guanine. And make sure each pair is connected uh, to a sugar puzzle. on the alternating sugar phosphate side. Just jump in. You'll figure it out. When you're done, bring it back. And if you get it right, I'll tell you the password. Sounds good. What else is going on? Yeah, uh, I, I'm not sure if Izzy is... I think Izzy is nice to Leela. I don't really think Izzy respects Leela, though. I don't, th I don't think Izzy would be, um, you know, gossiping about Leela behind Leela's back. And in, in Izzy's case, that means they're best friends. I'll catch you later. No problem. I think, yeah. I, I mean, that, that's that's about as nice as Izzy ever gets. Looks like I need a key. I need a key in order to get that book, and I want to get that book because of the clue in Mel's room. It said much followed by more. Alrighty. So yeah, the DNA puzzle is gonna be terrible. Let's solve it. Okay, so her her rules were just terribly unhelpful. Uh, it's basically red is always going to be paired with blue. So I think that's the uh, where the red has to go. Yeah, so that piece has to go there to get red paired with blue there. And then now I need another blue. Is there a blue hidden here underneath all these other pieces? Yes. So this blue has to go here. Okay, so this... Okay, that's red, blue. Then this is going to be black and yellow, black and yellow, black and red. Um, I mean blue and red, blue and red. So this could be the blue and red. Because this cannot be... See, that's red and blue. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So red and blue there, and then blue and red here, like that. And that's all the blue and red, so on, on senior detective mode, it's easy enough to do that. Okay, and then next... <laughs> this puzzle has really very little to do with knowing science and all about making matches, I would say. <laughs> um, okay, so next, uh, black, yellow, black, yellow here. Then yellow, black here. Then yellow, black, yellow, black. Ah, here we go. Okay, so is there a black that's all by itself, maybe? Like, that would be a good place for me to put the black that's all by itself. 
I'm, I'm trying to sort all these pieces. So this is also a black. That's all by itself, which could go in that same spot. Oh, well, that's not very helpful then. Hmm. So let's see if we can figure out what goes in this spot then. This spot, because uh, we need a piece here that's uh, a, a pink sticking out. Um, so like this, perhaps. That's a possibility. I'll put that over here on the left, then try every other piece and see. Well, that piece can't be it. I guess that piece could be it. Mm, I'll leave that there. That piece can't be it. Can't be it. Can't be. Can't be. Can't. Ooh, there are two yellows near each other. So the two yellows near each other, or is two yellows near each other there? But the other place with two yellows next to each other is here. And you'd be able to figure that out, because I can't have the two yellows like that, because yellow is always paired with black, so that big piece has to go there. Look, that piece can't go there, mm, unless I did something like that, so that could possibly be it. That piece can't go down there, and that piece can't go there. So two options here, really. Uh, these two pieces to fill in that spot. Or uh, this piece to fill in that spot. So, okay. Let's see. Is there a piece which fits here perfectly? Yes. So let's go with that here. I'm just going to assume that's correct. And then I'm probably going to get bitten with the incorrect solution. Okay, wait. How's this? And then wasn't there a piece which was just black and yellow combined? No, there was not. So something like this for black and yellow combined. And then, um... That can't be right. That can't be right. Is this... It? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So that can't be right because those would be two things overlapping each other. Um, so this would have to go here then. Meaning this goes there. I think I've got the solution. Could be. Got it. No, don't got it. Oh, you're... So let me turn that upside down. Yeah, I had those colors mixed up. That would have left that empty spot there. Done. Woo! Okay, Izzy, tell me that this is correct. Tell me you like it. Finished with that DNA model? You tell me. Awesome. Okay, your password is WAC35NE136. W-A-C-3-5-N-E-1-3-6. Got it. Thanks. What else is going on? I get the impression Rachel's not one of your favorite people. She's no one's favorite people. Even Corrine doesn't like her. She doesn't have one single friend? Nope. She has no business being here, either socially or academically, and she knows it. She makes no effort to fit in because she knows she never will. <laughs> Gotta give her that much. Have you gotten any notes from the black cat? Everyone on the Valcan floor has. The valedictorian candidate floor. Our floor. Has anything like this ever happened before? Not as far as I know. Although... Supposedly, there was a teacher here once, a long time ago, that none of the students liked. They were always playing tricks on her, scaring her and stuff, until one day one of their pranks gave her a heart attack and she died. Her black cat went running off into the woods during the funeral and never came back. But for years after that, people would spot it lurking in the shadows, and whenever they did, something bad would happen. They said it was the teacher, Miss Hallowell, coming back as her cat to get revenge. Somebody around here is obviously trying to get some mileage out of a silly ghost story. One the headmistress is trying desperately to squelch, by the way. So remember, you didn't hear it from me. Any idea who the black cat is? It's Mel. See, like I said, she's a little psycho. And black cats, strange mishaps, it all fits in with that inane goth thing she's got going. I mean, who else could it be? 
What do you think your chances are for making valedictorian? Chance has nothing to do with it. I deserve to be valedictorian, therefore I'm going to be valedictorian. What if there's a tie for the highest grade point average? It's not just a matter of getting the highest grades. The faculty also looks at extracurricular activities, leadership, community service, school spirit, things I totally excel at. I'm going to be valedictorian, and then I'm going to Harvard. I need to get going. See ya. Okay, so uh, that's it for her. Let's see. Now let's go back upstairs. Oh, I got a message. Got a message. Looks like Mel got another note. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I got another message. Okay, so let me let me change my message sound. No. Moo. Let's do it. Let's go with moos. So what was that message I got? Uh-oh. Leela's not gonna like that. Forget everything I just said about Izzy liking her roommate Leela. Even though she doesn't trash talk her roommate Leela, she just stole her roommate's boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. That's... That's not good, Izzy. That's not good. Hi. Hey, how come I couldn't find anything about you online, like on your page? You looked me up online? Well, yeah. It's the 21st century. Soon as you meet somebody, that's what you do. And anyone under the age of like 30 who doesn't have something up on your page either A, has been living on Mars, or B, is seriously weird. And since it doesn't look like either of those applies to you, what gives? I took my page down because, for personal reasons. Well, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Well, who is he? Where does he live? Come on, you can tell me stuff. I'm your roommate. I'm sorry, but I, I'd i rather not talk about him right now, okay? Yeah, okay, whatever. So what do you want to talk about? Yeah, I don't think Nancy would ever want to talk about her boyfriend with Kareen. Sorry, Kareen, I know we're living with each other. I know we're roommates temporarily, but I, we're not that close. Rachel enlisted me to help her get her web project done. Better you than me. In fact, I need to take your picture for it. <sighs> Whip out your camera and let's get it over with. Cheese. I met Mel. She's very... different. Yeah, I think that's why we're friends. She did say I was her friend, right? Oh, sorry, that was dumb. <laughs> there we go, sounding all insecure and loserish again. Are you a Waverly Legacy like Mel is? As if. I earned my way into this place. I was accepted because I was the most deserving applicant, like, ever. Those are my words, not the school's, of course, but it's still true. I met Leela. She was in the rec room. She's usually in the gym, either bouncing, kicking, hitting, or throwing some kind of ball. You name a sport, she's great at it. And competitive? That girl loves to win, and almost always does. Some really competitive people cheat, does she? Nancy, jeez, just jumping into, oh, she plays sports, she's a cheater. Really? Probably. I mean, I can't prove it, but come on, a jock up for valedictorian? No way. Something's hinky somewhere. And speaking of hinky, she started wrapping her wrist about a week ago, but is it actually hurt? Debatable. Could she be the black cat? Well, she's here on a scholarship, so it's real hard for me to believe she's smart enough to, one, secretly be the black cat, and two, divert suspicion by faking an injury and making herself look like a victim of the black cat. But I have to admit, it is possible. I'll let you get back to your paper. Suit yourself. I like how she just is like, oh, she's on a, she's here on a scholarship. Therefore, she's not very smart. It's like, well, don't you have to be somewhat smart to get a scholarship? Maybe it's an athletic scholarship. So I forgot to check that, which says that uh, Kareen is the assistant librarian. Uh, what was the password? It was probably in my notes. W-A-C-35 N-E-1-3-6 Good, 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 I'm good. in charge of the snack shop? This should be interesting. I don't even know where it is. Sure you do, Nancy. You've seen it. Okay, that's the wrong web page. Uh, valedictorian race. Okay, we need to download some photos. 
Okay, next photo. Looks like I still need um, Megan and Rachel. Megan and Rachel. Ooh, can we talk to Izzy about the boyfriend stealing? By the way, drama. I want. I, I want to talk about this drama. How's it going? What's this about your stealing Leela's boyfriend? The guy asked me to Oxbow's holiday bash, and I said yes. Big whoop. But but he's Leela's boyfriend. But he was dating Leela. It's a free country. He can date whomever he wants. Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. I know how conceited that sounds, but it's the truth. Leela had her chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just gonna have to deal with it. Wow. The Missing Book of Stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Do you by any chance know where it is? Uh, no. No offense, but some of the questions you ask are kind of strange. I've harassed you enough. See ya. <laughs> Why would I care about Edgar Allan Poe? Uh. It's only fair to warn you, I'm not in a very good mood right now. Oh, then I'll just come back later. How could she do it? Did she think I wouldn't mind if she started dating Jacob? Did she think I wouldn't find out? My gosh, it's all over school. Maybe it's more Jacob's fault than hers. Jacob's just like any other guy, and let's face it, guys are basically sheep. The minute somebody says, hey, the grass is greener over here, boom, they're gone. I just never figured she'd actually make a move on him while he was still dating me. I mean, who does that to their own roommate? Uh, that w Yeah, it is really terrible, terrible. Maybe it's all just a big misunderstanding. Want to hear the text I just got from Jacob? It's true. Sorry. End of message. Misunderstanding? I don't think so. But you know what I'm going to say to Izzy when I finally calm down enough to face her? Nothing. Nothing? I'm just going to act like nothing's wrong. If she's got the guts to bring up the subject, fine. But I'm not going to say a word. I'm going to let her wonder just how and when I'm going to get back at her. Because I will definitely get back at her. In the meantime, I'm just going to shake it off and get back in the game. What's up, girl? Is it true you're here on a scholarship? That's right. Athletic. Full ride. Although I have to maintain a pretty high grade point average in order to keep it. Luckily for me, that's not a problem. What would happen if you got injured and couldn't play sports for the rest of the year? They'd probably pull my scholarship. So not only would I not be valedictorian, I wouldn't even be able to graduate, which would really shoot holes in my future. So if I get injured again and I find out it's this black cat person's fault, believe me, she's going to wind up injured too. Would it be okay if you weren't the valedictorian? It'd be okay with the school, but it sure wouldn't be okay with me. No matter what I'm competing in, I always play to win. The nice thing is, I usually do. Did you get that picture of Megan for me? I've got it right here, but the only way you're going to get it from me is by beating me at Scram. What do you say? Same as before. Bring it on. Excellent. Okay. Each game has two rounds. You play one round as the blocker and the other round as the scorer, and you take turns throwing the darts. First, the blocker throws three darts. Then the scorer throws three darts, yeah, and so on. we have to do this puzzle now, in order to get that the object of picture. the game is for oh. the blocker to end the round by landing a dart in any section of all 20 numbers, while the object of the game for the score is, naturally, to accumulate as many points as possible before the round ends. I assume that hitting the bullseye is worth 50 points and hitting the ring outside it is worth 25? That's right. Once all the numbers are blocked, the rolls are reversed, and you play another round. After two rounds, whoever has accumulated the most points wins. Just like in regular darts, the harder the section of any number is to hit, the more points you get. So, you ready? I'm ready. Game on! So, in this round, you're the blocker, and you're going to try Nailed to hit it. the high numbers so they get crossed off the score list. I think I got it. Okay, she, so now it's my turn to throw. She just explained how the game works, and Nancy explains it a second time. Thank you, Nancy. Oh, and I get to score. Guess I'd better go for the high numbers before you take them out. Basically, you go for the highest number on the board, which is not crossed out on the right. So, not crossed out on the right. 
It's basically bullseye. That's what I'm trying to get here. Rats. Oh, darn it. I did it! Woo! Yes! I didn't really get any bullseyes, though. Oh, geez. Who's going to get bullseye right here, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so now I need to get 18s. 18. Where is 18? Here? I did it! Okay. Gosh, I'm good. Oh, I really hate yes. when she says stuff like that. Gosh, I'm good. Gosh, I'm good. Oh, yes. Missed. No. Oh. I hope I win. I hope I win. Uh, I, I, I'm not doing very Nailed well this it. time. Um, okay, now I need to get 13s. Basically, the first two rounds are the ones that determine whether or not you beat the game. Like, I've gotten three 50s in a row. That would have been great, and that would have given me a that huge works. lead. But I did it. Bingo! Oh, yeah! Okay, and now she's gonna get the 11. Nailed it! So now I need to try to get to 10s here. That works! Bingo! Yeah! That works! Woohoo! Yes! Nuts! Nailed it! Okay, so now 6. Here. That works. All right. Lila's just Nailed super it. competitive. I know she's super competitive. Gosh, I'm it, good. It, ah! Okay, so now I need to get a two. Bingo! Oh, yeah. That works. That should be the end of this Darn round. Darn it. Oh, yeah. I'm blocker this round. Oh, because this town, th this round, I'm trying to get the the same thing. Bingo! I want to get the bullseye, I want to get the 25 and the 20. Where's the 20? Over here at the top. So there. I did it! I got one. Ha <laughs> ha. Did I get a 50 again? Wow. Terrible. Okay. Bingo! Got 20 off the board. Let's see if I can get 25 off the board now. Bingo! Okay. Did not. Um, <laughs> where's the 19 then? Uh, sort of down here. Missed. Really? Gosh. Oh, you know, yeah. The bullseye is not that easy. Gosh, I'm good. Why is she not Nailed going it. for the 25s? I don't know why. That works. Good. Okay, great. Good, good, good. Okay, and then now the, this game should be easy. Bingo! She got three. Gosh, I'm good. I guess she's... <laughs> you got Nailed two. it! Gosh, I'm good. All right! Got a two instead of a three. Yeah. I mean, it's two instead of a 16. All right, so 15, 14, and 13 this round. I mean, Gosh, 15, I'm good. 14, and 12 this round. Gosh, I'm good. I did it. Basically, once all the double digits are, are gone, she'll never be able to catch up unless I am really terrible. Good. Yes, it's very similar to the darts game in Haunting a Castle Malloy. I would agree. Yes. Okay, where's 11? 11. And then I want to get 10. And then I want to get 9. Bingo! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! No! Oh, my gosh! She's probably going to win now. Take a look at this. All right! I think she's actually winning this game of Scram. Um, yeah... 
Unless she messes up really badly here, I think she's won. Yeah, so she's in the lead by one... No, I'm in the lead by one point, so I can't miss anything here. So I need to be very careful. That works! Here's a four. Really high stakes game of Scram. Bingo! Here's a three. And let's aim for the two. Come on, there. Nuts, you beat me. Here's the photo wow. of Megan wanted. Great. Looks like I'll have to take a picture of a picture. Intense. Intense. All done. You can keep it. Thanks. Want to play again? No. No thanks. Need anything else? Never. Any idea what happened to the book of post stories that's missing from the library? I sure don't have it. Mel, our resident goth girl, she probably does. That freak's probably working on a way to bring him back from the dead so he can autograph it. That's it for now. Okie dokie. Oh. oh, man, I actually did it. Yes, I won by one point. Yes, that is, that is, that is kind of amazing. You can come in. How about that? This door's not locked. Hi. Hi. I'm Becca Sawyer, remember? Sorry, I totally blanked on your name. You get all the pictures uploaded? Not yet. For one thing, I need to take a picture of you. Oh, right. Let's do it. So, Fab, listen, be sure to let me know when you get all the pictures uploaded, okay? I can't remember. Did I tell you not to bother with Danielle Hayes' picture? No, but her name's been scratched off, so that's what I figured. Sorry, my mind is going all this paper writing, which I kind of need to get back to. It's okay. Guess I'd better get to work. Bye. Oh, one more question. Who do you think the black cat is? I haven't gotten any notes, so I don't know and I don't really care. See ya. Nancy really does make a big deal out of the fact that this door is unlocked. It's already open. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. Yep, Izzy must be somewhere else. Um, let's see, let's do Corinne's, or Corinne's puzzle. What's up, Rumi? Any idea where that book that's missing from the library is? Why? Are you an Edgar Allan Poe fan? I'd like to find it so I can earn some extra credits. You and me both. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue who has it. Any idea why it would be missing? Somebody must have wanted that book and not wanted anyone to know they wanted it. That's all I can figure. Did it go missing before or after notes from the black cat started showing up? Before. Right before, in fact. I see what you're getting at. It was called the Black Cat, wasn't it? That's kind of freaky. Do you know where I can get the key that opens the special collections cabinet in the library? You can get it from me. How bad do you want it? Uh, kind of bad. There's a book in the collection I'd really like to look at. Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you the key to the key. Nancy's being blackmailed into doing Corrine's homework. Corrine, this is why nobody likes you. Cabinet, if you can finish these orthographic views for me. How do I do that? Just figure out which views go with which object. Each object has a front, top, and side view. Those are examples in case you need them. I can do that. Bring them back when you're done. Anything else? I'll let you get back to your paper. Suit yourself. So this is kind of tough. Okay, so top view... Uh, side view is right, and then front is left. So side is right, front is left. Man, that's gonna be tough. Okay, so it's... How do I switch pages? Do I just go back? No. Hmm. That's my case file. Probably shouldn't be carrying that around with me, huh? Okay, there we go. Okay, so front is left. So the left side of this is gonna look like a... Staircase, maybe? Ah, yeah, this is gonna be the left side of that. And the left side of this is gonna be like a staircase with a, a little V on the side. Sort of like this. Yeah, that's the left side of that one. Now, the right side's gonna be the same, just from a different thing. 
left side of this is just gonna be a, a just a big thing. Top side's gonna be that, and the other side's gonna be a U. Okay, this is gonna be a weird one, isn't it? Okay, so it's gonna be. It's gonna have like a side thingy going up. I don't know. We'll worry about that one later. Um. Let's see, the side view of this is gonna look like the letter T. Which means the top view is also going to look like a letter T. Top view of this is going to look like that. Top view of this is going to look like that. Um, I'm guessing this is the side view, and then this is the... No, this would be the front, and this would be the side. I'm not so sure about that one. You finished those ortho views for me? There you go. Got Looks it. great. Thanks. Woo! Here's the key to the cabinet. Whatever books you take out, be sure to put them back when you're done. They're too old and fragile to carry around. I will. And leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it later. Anything else? I'll let you get back to your paper. Suit yourself. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go to the library. We're going to get the book. And... And we're going to do that website puzzle for, for Rachel. So this book gives us a picture of this thingy, that plaque. So that plaque is all covered up here in, in this picture. Good to know. That's going to be for a puzzle later on. So let's see. I've got the two pictures here. Now let's add them to the website. Rachel and Mel. Yeah, that is the question. It's like, well, if she already knew the answers to uh, the, the homework, why did she need Nancy to do it for her? I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk to uh, Rachel. It's not locked. How about that? This door's not locked. Whoa. Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. Sure did. Fab. Now I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. No problem. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, report back to me, because I'll probably have something else for you to do. I knew you were going to say that. In case I forgot to say it before, I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. Right. Friends. I've read about those. I don't know what they are, but I, I've read about them. Why does Rachel have a room, room to herself? That's a good question. I don't know why. Everybody else has a roommate except Rachel. And the girls ah. whose roommates aren't there. Hey, I got a cow message. Plagiarism? Is that true or is it just a rumor? Mel! Plagiarizing? Oh, we've got to talk to her about this. Mel, are you a plagiarist? I'm here. It's already open. It's not true, if that's what you want to know. So you didn't plagiarize that paper? Of course not. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. Why did they think you did? Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? Papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. You think someone's trying to frame you? Day after Megan left, I found a note under my door. And then, not too long ago, I got another one. Both were from the black cat. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't. And whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's gonna care. But I don't deserve this, and I need help. Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. 
I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. See if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that, please? Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for paper trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Sounds good, okay. So we need to find, uh, I, I mean, one of these source numbers. Thank you, Becca. That's not oh, the number man. we're looking for. Just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, what's new with you? Do you hang out with Izzy much? I don't hang out with her at all. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. How can she be vacuous and be a valedictorian candidate? You tell me, and we'll both know. Who do you think the black cat is? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. Obvious? What makes it so obvious? Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian, and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. Are you friends with Leela? No, although I used to be. Of course, that was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning and school spirit. Stuff I just find pathetic. Do most kids like her? I'm not a fan, but everyone else? You bet. Do you think she's smart? Extremely. Which, to me, makes her descent into jockdom even sadder. Maybe I'll pop in again later. Drop in any time. Okay, so this is an optional storyline. You don't actually have to, to solve it. But I'm going to do it because I don't want Mel to fail school. So, what? It, where was it? Academics? It's got to be somewhere here. That's under construction, academics. Ah, here we go. Paper trail, paper trail. Students aren't supposed to know about paper trail, but it's here on the school website. Hmm. Okay, so let's just say uh, 3043. Ah. 30. 3043. And then what was the other one? Dot six two four dot one. Dot six two four dot one. You can use any of those numbers. And this is a puzzle. So remember, it's a number. None of the digits repeat. None of the digits repeat. I don't know how Mel remembered that. So um, sixty nine, fifty seven, two eighty four. And 103. So, yeah. Basically, what you have to do is realize, wait a minute, we're using all of the, the numbers, all 10 numbers. If the date on this paper is correct, then whoever posted the paper online did so after Mel turned it in, which proves she didn't copy it. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. Yep, so that website makes sure that nobody is a plagiarist. How's it going? What do you think about Mel and that plagiarism charge? I'm not surprised. Like I said, she's psycho. She wouldn't think twice about doing something like that. Apparently someone named Jacob Price tried to make it look like Mel plagiarized her own paper. You mean Jacob framed her? Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Isn't he your boyfriend? Isn't Jacob Price your current boyfriend? Yeah, but don't forget, until very, very recently, Jacob was Leela's boyfriend. You want to point fingers? Maybe you should start with my roommate. Thanks for all the advice. Pop in anytime. Oh, drama. Drama, drama, drama. Can we tell Leela about this? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what about Jacob? It looks like Mel was framed for plagiarism by someone named Jacob Price. Jacob? You're kidding me! Wow, Izzy's already got him doing her dirty work. That sure didn't take long. So Jacob didn't have any kind of personal grudge against Mel? 
Far as I know, they've never even met. No, he did it for Izzy. The two of them have probably been sneaking around behind my back for months. I'll let you go. Hit him hard. Wow, drama, drama. Okay, uh, let's 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 forget the school drama for now and um, do this, this drama. This cornerstone looks different than it did in that book. So you want to get it? So uh, the long side. Wow, this is tough. I think it's the longest side of each piece goes around, goes along the edge. I think that's how you're supposed to solve this particular puzzle. Yeah, so instead of having the long sides in the middle, you have them on the edges. Got it. Yeah, that was perfect. Woo! Well, hey, little guy. What's up? Hi, Squirrel. What are you doing? Hey! Come back here! Squirrel! Evil he Squirrel. He must have some kind of nest up there. And guess what? Rita Hallowell has uh, a, a long uh, series of puzzles that you need to solve in order, in order to get her treasure. Hello? Sounds like the black Hi, cat stalking you. Izzy. I just wondered how you were doing. You at the school? I sure am. So how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty terribly. Terrible. I can't figure out whether any of the girls I've met so far actually like me. Of course they like you. And even if they do like me, no one's going to commit to being my friend until they're sure about where I fit in around here socially. They got a pecking order going, huh? And it is brutal. Like junior high on steroids. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Be myself? Is high school basically just junior high on steroids? That's an interesting way of phrasing it. Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. If they get wind of that... Like I said, just lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. What about the case? Any luck tracking down the source of those mysterious notes? They're being sent by someone who signs them as the Black Cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. Think someone there has a grudge against brainy kids? Or one of the brainy kids is trying to get rid of her competition. Being valedictorian is that big a deal? It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. But how smart can these kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? It's midterm study break. The kids who chose to stay at the school are cramming for tests and madly writing papers. The notes may be silly, but they're still distracting. And some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. Malicious, huh? You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? No, I'm not. Good. Although I am living on the same floor as they are. You just had to throw that in, didn't you? Sorry. So what is your plan? I'm going to search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. Right. Right. I like Ned in this game. Ned's pretty funny in this game. He, he, he is a great boyfriend for Nancy in this game. He doesn't cheat on Nancy with her roommate, unlike Jacob. The notes from the black cat may have something to do with a teacher named Rita Hollowell. Oh yeah? What'd she teach? Literature. At least she did, about 150 years ago. Excuse me? She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. And do you think she had something to do with notes being sent to students now? Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. That's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. You know, you're going to have to be real careful what you ask and tell people from now on. Because if someone is trying to find it, and realizes you may be trying to find it too... I'll be careful, Ned. Don't worry. Too late. I've met all the valedictorian candidates. Cool. Tell me about them. Believe it or not, there's a goth living in the room next to mine. A goth? As in weird hair and disturbing body piercings? At an exclusive East Coast all-girl boarding school? 
She's a legacy, meaning the women in her family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She doesn't have a lot of friends? Doesn't seem to. Is she into black cats? Don't know that yet. Maybe I'm a sucker for obvious suspects, but it sounds to me like you should find out. Keep going. Who else? Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete, and man is she competitive. Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. She's a valedictorian? Yep. Shouldn't she be studying like everyone else? Says she's got everything under control. Academically, at least. Socially, her roommate Izzy just stole her boyfriend. Yikes. So what's she going to do about it? Right now? Nothing. She's going to let Izzy stew for a while and worry about what she's going to do about it. Person could be in for it big time. Keep going. Who else? This girl named Rachel asked me to help her with a school project. How'd you get out of that? I didn't. I told her I'd help her. And actually, it's a good thing. Gives me an excuse to go poking around, talking to people. So what's this Rachel person like? Well, no one around here seems to like her very much. How come? Bad breath? B.O.? Poor taste in shoes? She's just strange somehow. Kind of absent-minded. She scares some kids, and she seems to keep to herself. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. Keep going. Who else? Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Is she nice? She is to me, so far. But that's probably because I'm still new to the pecking order. She's at the front of it? Oh, yeah. She rules the roost around here, that's for sure. But she's not without enemies. Roost rulers seldom are. Especially when they steal their classmate's boyfriend. Now that's just asking for trouble. Keep going. Who else? Kareen, the girl I'm rooming with? She's not exactly Miss Popularity. What makes you say that? So far, I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her. That's not good. At this school? It's a disaster. The school administration has accused Mel of plagiarizing a paper. So even Waverly girls cheat, huh? Actually, Mel swears up and down she's innocent. You believe her? Yeah, I think I do. She seemed really, really upset. Maybe she's just a good actress. I hope not, because I told her I'd help her try to clear her name. You're getting a little off task, don't you think? Not at all. This gives me an excuse to snoop around. And you can never have too many of those, can you? I'd better go before someone overhears me. Stay out of trouble. I'll try, but you know me. Bye. Okay, so we we, we found that one puzzle. Uh, so many puzzles. Let, let's 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 tell Mel that she's been cleared. Wait, no, 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 no. We need to finish the website. So where's that website here? Okay, so should I solve this puzzle legitimately, or should I try to cheat? Let's see. Um, each column has one of the following. Megan, third spot, Boston, New York, art and math. Izzy and Mel is far apart from each other. Uh, Kareen's after bio. Roommates don't go side by side. Oh, man, this is tough. Okay, biology and psych students are roommates. Well, Izzy talked about psych, so I think she's the psych person. Megan's from Concord and loves history. Um, okay. So Megan's not in the third spot. Izzy and Mel need to be as far apart from each other as possible. So is there another clue about Mel? Kareen is somewhere before Izzy, so that means Izzy can't be in spot number one if, if Kareen's above it. And then Mel and Izzy being farthest away has to be that. So Kareen is after bio. Is Megan a bio person? Or, or is Mel a bio person? Hmm. Looks like I got three votes in a row for legitimate. Let's see. Oh boy, this is tough. Okay, so let's just go. Izzy is a psych student. I don't know what Mel is from. Megan's from Concord and loves history. So Megan can't be there. Megan can't be there. So Megan's four and five. So Megan has to be either um, New York or math. 
Um, Megan's not New York, so Megan's math. Megan, no, no, Megan's history. Hmm. So Mel didn't... Okay. English is from Boston. It's immediately before history, but... Ugh. My gosh. This, this... Hmm. See if I can find this then. Let's say Korean's after bio, but somewhere before Izzy. So let's say Korean is there. Um, her. We don't do Korean's roommate, did we? No, Korean's roommate's not there. And if roommates are not side by side. So I think something like this, maybe? That'd be roommates not side by side, right? So let's see if that works. Hmm. Megan from Concord and loves history. Rachel said, I love math. Mel, no, 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 no. Um, Korean's the English person. Biology and psych are roommates, so that would have to be um, their basic things, right? That? Okay. So third can't be math due to, to number one. So let's swatch, swap those two. Now that we know that biology is in fact Leela, um, Korean's after bio, but she's somewhere before Izzy. Well, that still works. Megan from Concord and loves history. Leela used to live in Rhode Island, okay. The girl who enjoys English is from Boston and is immediately before history a lover, but after the math lover and biology and psych are roommates. Oh, good. Okay, so Megan is one thing. Third spot is another. Boston's another spot. So this New York art and math. So you must be from New York. Izzy's from New York. Which means um, Mel and Rachel are going to be from Pittsburgh. Did she say she was from Pittsburgh? Rachel said, I'm from Pittsburgh. I think she did. I think she did. Let's see if that's correct. Let's see if I've actually solved that puzzle correctly. It's not locked. Really? I can't talk now. You can't? But, but... No, oh, did I make a mistake somewhere? I'm here. I don't know. I might have made a mistake somewhere. She usually talks if you got it right. I forgot to put the pictures down. Ha 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 ha. Well, that's the easiest part of this puzzle, isn't it? <laughs> that should do it. I hope. What a silly thing to mess up. Okay, so I think I think I've got this puzzle correct now. Not nice, Wayne. Not nice at all. Let's go to the bathroom again. Becca Sawyer, you rock. Woo! Becca Sawyer rocks. How about that? This door's not locked. What? Ah, nice job on the layout. Thank you. What's next? Next, I need you to take a few more pictures. Here's a oh. list. They're all things that are special to Waverly Academy somehow. Iconic, I guess you'd say. They can all be found on the school grounds. The only one that might be a little problematic is the picture of Rita Hollowell and her cat. She was one of Waverly's founding teachers. There's a couple of references to the picture in the school records, but it hasn't been seen in eons. But if you can find it, and I can get a photo of that photo up on the website, it would be such an incredible coup that it might even put me back in the running for valedictorian. I'll give it my best shot. Upload them like before. I'll check them when they're up. And if I see any problems, I'll leave a note for you on the page. Come back to me when you're done. Get I'd better get to work. Bye. <laughs> Sounds good. Ooh, another text. That's not very nice. But then gossip seldom is. 
Yeah, so now I need to find a bunch of pictures, and let's work on some of those puzzles. Let's do the Victorian dining puzzle first. So, Rachel Hubbard is the one who has the uh, that, that one puzzle. Oh, and we also need music, so... Mel has that. I believe Rachel and Mel both have puzzles for us to solve in order to solve those puzzles. So let's go to Mel. How about that? This door's not locked. What? It's out. Come on in. What's the word? Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Yeah. Why? Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an attempt to make you look like a plagiarist. So all the headmistress has to do is check the dates and I'm in the clear. Oh my gosh, Becca, thank you. Thank you. So who posted it? Who tried to frame me? I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. What a surprise. Hey, I got something a newbie like you might like to read. Has some interesting information about Waverly. Thanks. You can keep it. I know everything I want to know about this place. I love how Nancy's just super willing to tell her, uh, tell everybody else Jacob did it, but she doesn't want to tell Mel that Jacob did it. Anything else going on? Do you by any chance have a library book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? The one that's missing from the library? Sure don't. I've never been much into Edgar. He's a little over the top, even for me. I'll quit bugging you. Door's always open. People people are just making silly jokes because that gossip, oh man, that, that gossip. Nancy, Nancy lost her luggage. That is some hardcore gossip right there. So let's see, I think maybe I have to take a look at this first. That way I know I need to do some music stuff. And then I can ask Mel about that music book, which she checked out. Why did the teacher check the date right off the bat? Someone didn't lock their door. Come on not in. A very, not a very observant teacher, I guess. Greetings once again. That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? No problem. As long as you go get me some milk and a cookie from the snack shop. It's not that I'm too lazy to do it myself, it's just that... You have a certain image to maintain. And milk and cookies don't exactly enhance it. Understood. I'll be back. I'll be honest, when I was in high school, um, I would have loved it if there was a snack shop that gave me unlimited milk and cookies for free. That would have been amazing. Attention, everyone. I would have loved As it. As of now, the snack shop is open. And this snack shop is so fun. I, I don't really like toasted bagels in real life, but this snack shop makes me want to eat toasted bagels. You know, I hate to admit it, but I really like calculus. No, you don't. No, I do. I love going to that class. Everybody does. Mr. Harris is like the best looking teacher in the whole universe. Mr. Harris is a super hunk. Order up! Supposed to snow pretty soon. Blizzard type snow. Ready. Okay, so I need water, an orange, cookie, and chips. Order's ready. Even just chips. That's, that's delicious. Okay, lettuce, tomato, tomato, and then bread, then granola, apple, cookie and water and then milk and cookies for Mel order up 
And I think we're done. Just for fun, how how many pieces of cheese can I stack on this? Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. No way. Okay, that's it. That's a limit. You can't stack that much. That's how many slices of cheese you can stack on somebody's meal. Yes. I think I made a mistake. No, I don't think you did, Nancy. I think that was perfect. There. All done. Whoa. Oh, and solving that conveniently gives us a key. Look at what this is to. To, like, the Victorian dining thing, which we haven't started that puzzle yet. Let's uh, go to Rachel and get it. It's already open. I'm here. What? Listen, I know you checked out a book on Victorian dining, but I was wondering if I could borrow it. I'm kind of into Victorian stuff. Sorry, I need it for the paper I'm writing. But I'll tell you what, if you get my math notebook from Mel, I'll work on that project for a while and you can borrow the Victorian book. I know Mel's just down the hall, but I'd rather not have to deal with her, okay? Sure, one math notebook coming up. Great. I'll stop hassling you now. Later. I don't know who threw the key at Nancy. I, I don't know who did it or why, but jeez. It's open. But Someone didn't lock their door. Amazing. You've got my snack. Awesome. Here you go. Perfect. Thanks. All yours. What else is going on? I need to get Rachel's math notebook from you. Sure. Soon as I remember where I put it. Nuts. I left it in the library. That's all right. I can go get it. Why do you want her math notebook? Well, actually, Rachel, uh... She wants it, but she didn't want to ask me for it in person. Did you do something to make her mad at you? I don't treat her any differently than I treat practically everyone else around here. In other words, for the most part, I totally ignore her. I don't know what her problem is. I'd better get going. Door's always open. Mr. Harris is the one who gave Nancy the key. Mr. Harris is trying to make sure Nancy can solve the mystery. Thank you, Mr. Harris. You are my hero. Something tells me I don't see Rachel's math book anywhere because it wound up in here. Those are Roman numerals. So 2,641? 2,641. There's a notebook. Excellent. So we needed that for the Victorian dining thing. Oh, we needed to talk to uh, Izzy about, I mean, Leela about the Victorian dining. How about that? This door's not locked. Whoa, she didn't you lock her in. door? What? Really? You've got my math notebook. Fab, I'll take that. Has math always been your favorite subject? Math? Science is more my thing. But before, you said math was. Well, actually, I like them both, so I kind of go back and forth. Anyway, the book's all yours. Go ahead and take it. Interesting. I gotta get back to work here. I'll see you later. Actually, I don't know if we know we need to look up uh, the Leela thing right there. Let's see. No, 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 no. Okay, over here... Checked out the Leela Yadav, right there. Looks like I need a key. And is it this key? Is this the key? No. That's the key for outside. What about this key that was thrown at me? Yep, this is the key that was thrown at me. Okay, Leela. 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 I need your menu thing. Hey, what's going on? Do you think I could borrow the old menu that you borrowed from the display case in the foyer? Yeah. In fact, I got it right here. I needed it for this lame nutrition paper I had to write. I keep forgetting to put it back. But before I give it to you... Let me guess. I have to beat you at a game. Air hockey or scram? You get to pick. Air, Air hockey. hockey. That's the spirit. Because I did so well with air hockey before. Might as well try it again. No, 
Uh, I pick air hockey just because it's faster than uh, scram. I say as I get stuck on a, a, a game which is taking forever. Also in high school, like if 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 my high school yes. had a room with just an air hockey board which was open for anybody to use all the time, that would be a pretty crowded area. Instead, I think they had a room like that in in my high school which was just they had a TV. And it was connected to like the game show network or something like that. And so you could watch people do old trivia games. One for the good guys. It wasn't as fun as unlimited air hockey. Scram was that game with the shooting the uh, darts. I got yeah. a point! There we go. Uh, if I could stop scoring on myself, that would be great. Yes! Air Hockey Master! Oh, almost. One Yay! for the good guys! Woo! You know, I'm pretty sure most most high schools would rather have kids with, with study rooms rather than just play games rooms. But this is clearly a boarding school. So the, the kids live here Point all day for me. long. They don't go home at the end of the day. Gosh! So that would explain why they have a rec room. They kind of need it. Ooh, almost. Not as good at this. Yeah. Come on, I can win. Really? Gosh. It's it's like I keep trying to pull my mouse backwards. And then the game just keeps assuming that I'm trying to hit it into my own net, which I'm not. You Got beat it. me. Nice job. There's Ooh. the menu. Thank you. Okay. Need anything else? That's it for now. Hit him hard. That's just a rough game. Okay. So now we can solve both of these puzzles. Uh, with this puzzle, you want to uh, combine the book with the menu. <laughs> Figure out which knives we're trying to pull. And hey, it's Amber Sullivan. Hi, Amber. Okay, so I believe the solution is this. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gives me a starburst token. Now for now for the uh, piano puzzle. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, let's see. Right over here. So we need to start with... We, we need to play all those notes. Where's that musical notation? So that's middle C. So, um... Gosh. So I want to play D2 on the left side of the piano. So D2... So if I assume that's D2, then this is A2, B2, D3, F3, and then back to A2, and then C2, and then the right side of the piano, so if this is 4, so E6, A5, B5, C5, E5, B4, C5, G4, C4 being middle C. Messed up here. So let's see. To have the right notes. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So middle C is C4. The C above that. Okay, so that's C4. And then C4, C3, C2. So let's try this again. D2, A2, B2, D3, F3, A2, C2. On the left, on the right side, it's going to be E6, A5, B5, C5, E5, B4, C5, G4, C4. Got it. Woo! Yay! Okay, so that puzzle's solved. So we solved two of those puzzles. Now let's see which, what are the puzzles I still have remaining in this notebook. <laughs> okay, so this was first low bass, then coloratura. That was the music puzzle right there. Ah, oh man, this puzzle. So this puzzle is in the, uh, the room. I have to break into this room at nighttime, though. Because if I break into it during the day, I get demerits. Like this. I saw that, Miss Sawyer. Ten demerits now. Get to your room. Paige. You jerk. Uh. Yeah, I got demerits. Okay, so where do I need to... T uh, uh, I had a list of pictures to take, right? Oh, and here's the Odyssey, Odyssey champion. So, Eleanor Penvelin helped win uh, that championship, the first championship trophy that Waverly ever got. And I think it's this one. So let's see, I open it. There it is, that's one of the pictures. Whoa, Whoa. Izzy, yucking it up with Corrine? This is an interesting turn of events. A very interesting turn of events. Oh my, Izzy and Corrine, BFFs? Wait. Are they BFFs, or is that just terrible Photoshop? Let's see. Terrible Photoshop. No, it's like the, like the entire arm was cut off. Yeah, I think, I think, I think somebody has terrible, terrible Photoshop skills. And this is the thing we need to take a picture of. This is actually kind of a difficult one, because this is one where you need to zoom in. Let's see. Somebody wanted a picture of this tree. Izzy sounds a tad upset. That's a fake, fake, fake picture. It's fake news. Don't believe it. And that squirrel's in the tree. I can't reach. If I want to go after that squirrel, I'm going to have to find another way to get up into this tree. 
let's see, do I have to take a picture of the front of the school? I, I forget where I need to take pictures of. So let's go to the computer and see if these pictures are good. And catch up on that gal pal drama. Yeah. Oh man, more drama. This school has so much drama. That's why it's my favorite. Uh, where was it? Student page? No. About us? Why Waverly? Here we go. I think those are the pictures. Did she give us an actual list? Yes, we did. Okay. So the entry arch and the U.S. map. Yeah, uh, okay. So I need the entry arch and the U.S. map. Two. Those pictures. Those are all pictures. So entryway. I guess this is it. Good. So what picture am I missing? The U.S. map and then Rita Hallowell and Usher, right? Rita Hallowell and her her cat. The picture which hasn't been seen in over a hundred years. Nancy can find that pretty easily, right? Right, right, right. So about us, why Waverly? Ah, that said bad framing. So she wants me to delete that one and try again. Yeah, as I said, that's the difficult one. That's the one. Hey, I'm a little busy right now, okay? Because of that picture of you and Corrine? There was no picture of me and Corrine! Somebody obviously used a computer and pasted a couple photos together. So you never hang out with Corrine? Are you kidding? Never! Never, ever, ever! Anyway, I gotta do some damage control, so leave, okay? The sooner I figure out where the pictures used in that composite came from, the sooner I can salvage my reputation. I'll see ya. Yes, Rachel Rachel wants Nancy to take a picture of the map inside the room, which is off-limits. Thanks, Rachel. You're basically asking for Nancy to get in trouble. Okay, she wants us to zoom in. Fine, I'll zoom in even more. I'm just terrible at taking these photos, so yeah. That one photo is the, the one that's tricky. The other ones don't involve any zooming in whatsoever. Okay, let's hope she accepts this one. And I believe we're gonna have to go to uh, nighttime now, unless I'm mistaken. What's up, Rumi? Did you get the text message with a picture of you and Izzy attached? Oh my gosh, was that not too cool? Me just sitting there chilling with my BFF Izzy Romero. How awesome can you get? Any idea who sent it out? Nope. It wasn't me, if that's what you're really asking. Am I angry the whole school thinks we're suddenly best buds? Of course not. Sure, Izzy might feel a little annoyed by all this attention, but if she does, tough. Welcome to my world, Queenie. I've bugged you enough. See ya. Enjoy. Yeah, so at nighttime is when you can do the squirrel puzzle and uh, break into the U.S. Uh, map room. So let's do it. Let's set my alarm clock for, uh, I don't know, when's nighttime? Let's say it gets dark at 9. That was not a. Wow. That, was, that was a... Oh, hey, well, oh, it doesn't really matter that I set it to the wrong time. Squirrel. Squirrel. What I need is an expert tree climber to show me the best way up this thing. Oh man, this one is impossible. So you need to remember every single branch the squirrel touches in order. Okay, that one wasn't so bad. Round two. So in senior mode, there are more steps. So in junior mode, there were only uh, six steps. Here in senior mode, on this area, we have eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. It's easy because that's where the squirrel's right now. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so it looks like part one and part two of this puzzle both have one extra step on senior mode. So an extra step to memorize or just take a picture of the solution. Keep notes of it, maybe. Yeah, I think keep notes is probably the best way to do this one. Seven, eight, nine. Done. Yes, the logic makes no sense. Like, the best path for a three-pound squirrel, is that the best, best path for a hundred-pound human? No. No, no, no. Ha 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 Squirrely, squirrely, squirrel. Oh, and this is where Nancy what oversees some sound? weird stuff. Yeah, just a group of people wearing robes, chanting in the middle of the night. Evil secret society, I would say. Evil secret society. And now let's break into that room. Because it's nighttime and we can do it. Let's see, where is... here. Okay, let's take this picture. Hopefully Rachel will like this. And then we need this bird picture. So this one, where was it? That's not it. Here. So you wanna press those specific spots that she mentions. Hmm. Give me a second, I'm trying to try <laughs> trying to find this. Okay, the tail, the bill, the tail, the bill, the the breast, and the primary feathers. So tail, bill, breasts, primary feathers. And that should give me Oh no, what have I done? That should... Oh no. That's supposed to give me the final starburst. Instead, it just destroyed the entire country. Way to go, Nancy. You destroyed the entire country. Let's get the West Coast figured out. Washington is still in place. Uh, Nevada goes right next to California here. And... Oregon goes right over here. Next to Oregon is Idaho. So let me go up and get Idaho. Yeah, my picture of the states isn't complete. You might notice that Oklahoma is missing. Is is Rachel going to really be upset about that? Is Rachel just going to throw a hissy fit because of Oklahoma? She might. I hope she doesn't. So I think with this puzzle, what you need to do is get all the border states first. You know, all the states on the outside. As opposed to, say, like, putting Colorado into place here, or, or Kansas. I think you need to actually work from the outside in. Because otherwise, well, there's nothing for that state to hold on to, and then that piece would fall off of the uh, map, correct? So let's get South Dakota into place. Texas, the really, really big one. Let's get our friend Utah. Where does Utah go? Over here, near the four corners. Let's see, Wyoming's there. Wyoming is not part of the four corners. There's Wisconsin. Virginia is always... I'm always forgetting where Virginia is. Somewhere around here. Tell you what, let's get Florida in the place first. Yeah. 
Yes, this is a geography puzzle. Oh my goodness. You're just... I guess you're just supposed to look it up, maybe? If you don't know the geography, but... Wow. Okay, Kentucky is sort of above uh, Georgia, but can I place it into place? Nope. Like I said, you need to get the outside pieces in first, so... There we go, North Carolina got into place pretty well. Miss Virginia, no, there's Tennessee. And then Kentucky, where's Kentucky? So if you drop a piece, it goes down to the bottom. There we go, there you go, Kentucky. And now it's easier to place Virginia because we, we know where the bottom border is. Pennsylvania, right around there. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads. I hear the voice in the morning air, she calls me. I've, I've got Missouri in totally the wrong place, sorry. Mississippi is uh, sort of around here, so it's going to be Alabama, Alabama next to Mississippi. And Louisiana over here. I hear the voice in the morning hour she calls me. Radio reminds me of my home far away. I get the feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. Kansas right there, Indiana right there. A little harder to get those small pieces in the upper left, because they're smaller states. So there's Connecticut. I believe Connecticut's right next to Massachusetts. There's New Hampshire. There's New Jersey. Here's Missouri. Here's Rhode Island. Oh, where's Rhode Island? Oh, yeah, it's right there. It's that small one. And there's Maryland. And Delaware right there. It looks like a piece is missing. Yep. So a piece is missing. We're still missing Oklahoma. If Rachel doesn't like this map because Oklahoma's not in it, I, I, I don't know. I will be very disappointed. There we go. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's just kind of a rough puzzle. You need to know geography, but you could easily look up a map of the United States. They're not too hard to find. Yeah, Oklahoma was not Time there. To get up already? Neither is Hawaii Next, or Alaska. My phone. And Hawaii and Alaska are pretty easy states to locate. Wait a second. What's this? Dun, Looks dun, like dun, Danielle dun. did get a second note from the black cat. Nancy doesn't recognize Oklahoma, it looks like. Nancy just says something's missing. She doesn't know. It's Oklahoma! And what's this? Hey, guess who just got a note from the black cat? Congratulations. Just don't go all Danielle on me, okay? Stay away from closets. <laughs> don't worry. thing to make a joke about. Hey, remember my my roommate that got sent home with severe psychological trauma? <laughs> Don't be like her. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh man, good times. Good times. Okay, so where was it? Why Waverly? Oh, she accepts it. Okay, so the last thing we need is that photo of Rito Hallowell. But we still need Oklahoma in place. Can I do this during the day or am I going to get stuck? Uh, let me save my game here. Hopefully I won't get caught here. Where is that? Where is that ID card? Right here. 
Please tell me I can do it during the day. Did you really think you could just walk away? Oh, no way. No way. Oh. Okay, well then let's skip the nighttime. Um, yeah. Because I need to break into there. That's really, like, the only thing I need. Mel's still playing her, her, her cello late at night. Did you really think you could- Really? Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Okay, well, in that case, let's do something else. Because I guess it's not late enough to count as nighttime. So, what do we see here? It's Mel's barrette. Mel is part of that creepy group of people that hang out wearing robes and chant in the middle of the night. So, let's confront Mel. It's already open. Yeah? What's the word? I found your barrette. Great. Hey, thanks. I don't know why I bother with these things. They're always falling out of my hair. I know. This one fell out of your hair at that cloak and dagger meeting you were at last night. What meeting? I don't know what you're talking about. I was watching, Mel, from up in the oak tree. I saw you. I'm not going to tell you anything, so whatever you think you saw, just forget it. I can't just forget what I saw, and you know it. Mel, look, whatever you tell me will go no further than this room, I promise. I'm not looking for something to gossip about. I just want to know what's going on with you, that's all. What you saw was a meeting of the Blackwood Society. It's a secret club that someone at Waverly started a couple of years after the school was founded. Only seven girls a year get chosen to be members. Who does the choosing? I have no idea. Everything's totally anonymous. Everyone wears a cloak, like you saw, and no one ever talks. They just whisper, so you can't tell who anyone is. About once a month, I'll get a note or a text saying there's a meeting that night, and that's all we do. We just meet. There's no talking or socializing. We literally just stand around for about 20 minutes and chant. It's more like a tradition, one that keeps going even though everybody's forgotten how and why it started. That sounds weird. Who's the leader? I have no idea. Probably a senior, though. Look, to me, belonging to the Blackwood Society... Mel does not question the fact that Nancy was inside the tree at 3 a.m. Yeah. ...is cool. Not because it's secret and exclusive and all that, but because I like being part of something that someone a long time ago, for whatever reason, thought was important. I like not knowing what the chant means, and I accept all the secrecy and anonymity, because by doing so, I get to be part of a tradition that's more than a century old. I'm sure some girls belong because they're too intimidated to quit, but I belong because the unknown is something I've always felt drawn to. Anyway, that's it. That's all you're going to get me to say on the matter. Do you think there's any connection between the Blackwood Society and all this black cat stuff? I meant what I said before. Blackwood Society? Never heard of it. I'll let you get back to your music. Door's always open. <laughs> Yeah, so there were about eight people in the in that Blackwood Society meeting. They're still gossiping about me. Um, this is not the only uh uh whatever you call it dorm. This is just the valedictorian candidate dorm. I I guess there must be like five other dorms here. Oh no! And somebody sent me an anonymous message saying, "Hey, if you want the Po book, it's inside Izzy's room." Uh huh. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. <laughs> well, I'm gonna break in. Yep, and here's Izzy's stuff. And here's Jacob. Jacob, the hot guy everybody's fighting over. It's this guy. That's the source of all the boyfriend drama. Mr. Sunglasses. Yeah, oh, there's a doggy. That's so cute. Um, let's see, so... This is a book that's missing from the library. If I return it, I'll get credit points. So we've got this book. That's the one which was mentioned in Rita Hallowell's stuff, by the way. Rita Hallowell's, uh, book. Hmm, 
let's see. I need to find the key. I think the key is here. Haha, <laughs> behind her picture, of course. So I'm gonna open up her trunk. And guess this what? This is the cloak the leader of the Blackwood Society was wearing. Yeah, that loser is the one everyone was fighting over. Yes, yes. So he dumped... <laughs> he dumped Leela. He dumped Leela for Izzy. And and also, he was the, the one who framed Mel for Izzy. Oh, wow. That guy. Yeah, I think I think Leela Leela's doing better. Attention everyone. Having As of not, now, the snack shop is open. She's better not having to deal with that guy ever again. I have got such a crush on Mr. Harris, I can't stand it. You and every other girl at Waverly. Not every girl. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Just the ones who take calculus. Food's ready! Cute, but he's not really what you'd call hot, you know? Well, if she doesn't want him, I'll take him. I think he's a doll. Do -do -do -do. Let's go. Bread, lettuce. What was it? No, it was tomatoes and then lettuce. Really? I think it would get mad at me for doing the bread in the wrong order. I mean the ingredients. Come get your order! Just turn just turn your uh, thing upside down, the sandwich upside down, okay? And then this is going to be bread, tomato and lettuce. Order up! Wow, there's so much. Okay. Tomato. Lettuce. Meat. Cheese. Yeah, so Nancy ignored the snack shack for most of the day. I feel bad for all the people who wanted actual snacks. They have to wait until 9 p.m. before they get Food's snacks. ready. That's it's a bit of a time to wait. There. All done. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So what was I doing again? <laughs> I already lost track. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. No, now I've already forgotten. Okay, let's talk to Izzy. How's it going? Seeing as you're the That's leader of the Blackwood doing. Society, Woo! I need you to tell me something. All right. Who blabbed? I... Look, that's not important. I just need to hear that chant you guys repeat, word for word. The reason why is very complicated, but I promise you, whatever you tell me, I won't repeat it to anyone, ever. What's in it for me? Um, nothing. Nothing? Dude, I sure hope you don't intend to go into politics, because you'd stink at it. I'll owe you one. How's that? I'll say it once, and that's all. Three is fine, but five is more. Even nineteen defeats four. Should just seven become lore, at least two will find the door. You owe me big. What does the chant mean? I have no idea. It's been passed down verbatim since the school and the society was founded. That's absolutely all I know about it. Everything is secret. Like that cloak? I got a text telling me to go to a certain spot, and when I did, there was the blue cloak, along with a note saying I was to choose seven new members and in the spring, a new leader. Everyone takes a vow of secrecy. Everyone thinks if they break it, they'll be cursed or something. You believe that? No harm in hedging your bets. And since you're in on the secret now, too, you should probably do the same. Well, now that that conversation's over, forever, what else is going on? Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. May I see it? Sorry, I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. Thanks for all the advice. Pop in anytime! It is 
interesting. Yeah, she chose Mel to be part. I'm I'm guessing Mel was picked as a Blackwood Society member before Izzy became the president. Because otherwise it makes no sense. She doesn't actually like Mel. Korean snoring over here. Gross Korean. Let's see. This area is pretty well lit for it being nighttime. We're breaking into here again. Now that we have Oklahoma, we can get that that piece. Oklahoma! Starburst token number four, correct? Please tell me I have all four of them. That's Rachel. I do. Woo! What's she up to? I should probably find out. Mm, there's Rachel. Sneaking around in the middle of the night getting snack shop stuff. Yeah, I have all four tokens. Yay! Now we can solve the big puzzle of the game. Hello? The door is locked. I have to I have to use my key. Or should I say student pass to open that lock? What's this? A hidden passageway? A hidden passageway? Ooh, how do we solve this puzzle? It's you wanna light up every single Looks like I'm not supposed to slide over the places where the lines cross more than once. Okay, now that I know the secret to the puzzle, it might be easier to solve. It might not. Gosh, let's see, because I'll have to turn around and then go inside, but then I'm stuck. Let's see. If I go something like this, down and around, yeah, that way I get all the inside things, except for that one, except for that one. And now I'm stuck. That was close, though. So let's see. Hmm. there on top. Let's see. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Darn it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so it looks like I probably need to try going down a bit like that. Try not to get that leftmost piece. Maybe. I guess now I can go like... Hmm, I'm always missing one. Every single one of these pieces uh, 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 touches at the top. Yeah, I like this puzzle. I like this puzzle. It's just I'm having a hard time with it. Made a mistake there. Whew. Okay. Whew. Hmm. I'm already stuck now, because then I won't be able to get that piece anywhere. Okay. Those pieces go around like that. 
See, this is good, except I need to get one of those star pieces on the side. Now, how would I be able to get that star piece on the side? Um, oh, and I missed that piece, too, this one here. Hmm. Wait, what? Am I missing something here? Somebody's saying, ignore the point of the inner diamonds. What, you mean like this big point? Ignore that until the end? You try that. Um, how, though? Like this? If I go around like that... Nope, because then that piece is, uh, freed. Okay. Whew! Jesus, puzzle's tough. Alrighty, let's see if I can do it. The colors fade away if you take too long. Is that it? Interesting. So that could be like another solution, because it looked like the colors were fading away there, right? Yep, the colors fade. Wow. You could probably use that as a as a as a as a cheat, right? So what if I go around like this? Got it. Done. Woo! Yes, I'm playing on senior mode. That that's why it's more difficult. And guess what? Big reveal. What is Rachel's big secret? Oh my gosh, there's two of you? Please don't tell. You mean you both go to school here, but everyone thinks just one of you does? I including the administration? But we're not hurting anyone. I mean, it's not like anyone else was going to use this room or eat these leftovers. We've been doing this for years, Becca. If we were doing any harm, we would have been found out by now. Our mother's dead, and our father was clueless when it came to raising two girls by himself. We were afraid that unless we somehow went off to boarding school, we'd wind up in foster homes. So we applied for scholarships all over the place, but this was the only one we got. So we decided to share it. And we've only got one more semester. Just one. We're so close. Please don't tell, Becca. Please. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, I won't tell. And don't worry. I'm pretty good with secrets. Thank you. I just can't believe I'm the only one who knows. Actually, you're not. Kim! Someone else found out and blackmailed us into leaving those black cat notes for other people. You two are the black cat? No. We just make the notes and deliver them to whomever the real black cat tells us to. What are you doing? If she tells they're going to kick us out anyway, Rachel, she may as well know everything. Maybe she'll even help us. So you're Rachel and you're Kim? Right. How does this blackmailer black cat person communicate with you? Email. Each time it's from a different address. We have no idea who's sending them. Well, I guess I could kind of, you know, play detective and try to find out who it is. That would be so cool. Then we'd know something that person doesn't want anyone to find out. A stalemate. Yes! In the meantime, my sister needs to finish her dinner, and you should go. Nobody cares if one of us isn't around, but if the new girl suddenly disappears... I understand. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I mean, I'll see one of you guys tomorrow. Night. So that was just plain amazing. There are two Rachels. Rachel has a secret twin sister. Awesome. Love that story. It is great. Yes, 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 I love it. And Nancy's like, oh, I could play detective. 
You are a detective, Nancy. You are a detective. <laughs> wow, it's really snowing. Wow, wow. It's, it's just snowing Locked. terribly. Okay, so now that we've gotten all four starbursts, I can't it's see anything. It's too dark in here. I can't see anything. Well, me neither. I can't see this button here on the left. Okay. Whew. So now we need to put these into place according to um, Rita Hallowell's notes. And and that book that we got from the room. So the place uh, the places are like this. Gorilla, Raven, Cat, Bug. So that gives us secret blueprints. This must be the photo of Rita Hollowell and her cat that Rachel was hoping I'd find. I need to take a picture of this so I can upload it to the website along with the other icon photos. Rachel is going to be thrilled. Rachel's going to love it. Yay. Let's see. I don't think we have blueprints here yet. The blueprints are going to appear uh, in a moment, but we're going to use those blueprints in order to get inside. Almost wrapped up here. Let's give Rachel this. Let's give Rachel this photo. Yeah, they tell. Yeah, I kind of wish Nancy Nancy confessed uh, to to Kim and Rachel that. Oh, by the way, I'm not actually Becca Sawyer. I'm a secret detective. I'm a secret detective who was sent here to figure out who the black cat is. They told Nancy their big secret. Nancy could tell them her big secret. It's only fair. It's already open. It's not locked. Becca, hey, you finished the icon pictures. You even found that picture of Hollowell and her cat. Great job. There's just one more thing I need you to do, and then you'll be done with me. Us. What is it? One of my web pages has to include the essay Kareen wrote that won the English department's coveted pen to paper award. So get a copy of it from her and upload it to the site, and that'll be that. Any idea who the real black cat is yet? No, but don't worry, I'm working on it. My sister says I shouldn't get my hopes up, but I can't help it. Would you happen to know anything about the official blueprints of the school that are missing from the library? They're missing? So you've seen them? That's how I knew this room connected to the attic, but I don't have them and I have no idea who does. So which twin are we talking to right now? Is this Rachel or is it Kim? We do get an opportunity to guess. That test you flunked, what happened? See, my sister attends some classes and I attend others. AP Chemistry was one of hers. So one day she got sick and to avoid her getting an absence to merit, I went in her place. And naturally, that was the day the teacher decided to surprise the class with a test. Needless to say, I failed miserably. Now that I've seen you and your sister together, I'm pretty sure I can tell you apart. That's impossible! We're exactly the same, right down to our handwriting. Okay, no we have one two guesses for Kim. Two people think it's Kim. Three. Three people say it's Kim. Let's call her Kim. You're Kim, aren't you? You're right. I'm Kim. Can't fool you. I've got to get back to work. See, the way she says that makes it sound like it's not actually Kim. That sounds like it's Rachel just messing with me. Right? Right? Uh-oh. Now what's happened? Black Cat has attacked Izzy. Oh, no. Wow, it is very snowy outside. Okay, uh, Kareen. What's up, Rumi? For the webpage I'm helping Rachel put up, I need to get the essay you wrote that won the pen to paper award. Oh yeah, Rachel mentioned that. I didn't think my paper was that great, but for some reason the entire faculty went totally gaga over it. <laughs> I'll copy it onto a flash drive for you. But while I do that, would you do me a favor? No. Sure, I guess. Uh... I'm absolutely starving. And since you're snack shop boss, how about getting me a toasted bagel with cheese, an apple, some juice, and a candy bar, okay? Soon as you do, I'll give you the essay. You got it. Excellent. I love how everyone's fighting over whether it's Rachel or Kim. Yeah, because uh, you'll, you'll notice one of the girls tucks her hair behind her ear and the other one doesn't. Guess who just got a second note from the black cat? Ooh, you're in for it. Uh, 
Okay, well, let's get Okay, some people, food. I'm ready to take your orders. Chips, apple, and a cookie. That sounds like a, an okay meal. You, Mr. Harris was calling me up to his desk. Oh my gosh, I love when that happens. It lets you get a really, really good order up. Come get your order. This day of the game, it looks like it's no no gossip whatsoever. What is this meal? Bread, three things of meat. Somebody's a real carnivore. Jeez, three things of meat and then tomatoes. Let's see. This one is meat, meat, lettuce. And meat. Why is everybody getting three things of meat on in, in their in their meal today? That's so weird. Come get your order. Yeah. Let's see apple juice. I think that's the first time somebody's ordered juice. I want a toasted bagel with just cheese. Come get your order. There, all done. Woohoo! Got your food. Yay! You've got my snack. Yep. Enjoy. Thank you. Mmm, that is so good. Here, keep it as long as you want. The essay is the only thing on there. Great, thanks. Anything else? I'd better get going. Bye. Later. All right, so yeah, we could we talk to Izzy here uh, too, about the fact that the black cat has attacked her. That favor you owe me? You can return it right now by finding out what happened to my term paper. It's not on my computer anymore. Do you have a hard copy? No, it would have been like printing out a book. Four weeks of research and writing are just gone. I'm gonna have to start all over and turn it in late, which means no A for the course and no... Somebody deliberately did this to me and I wanna know who, so you find out. Until you do, just leave me alone! She's angry now. Okay, where's the USB drive? Right here. So where where do we upload it? It's uh, academics here. It's a long thing about Edgar Allan <gasps> Poe. When it comes to Mr. Poe and maybe Miss, or should I say Nurse Hollowell, Looks like Corrine's a bit of an expert. Now, bagels with cream cheese. Those are yummy. I don't mind bagels with cream cheese. What's this message? Hey, I get a credit for doing Rachel's homework. Corrine, you here? Guess not. How does she know Nancy's the one who did that? Oh, whatever. Seller. So... There's a note, um, she's in the cellar. And that's where the blueprints are going to be. Yeah, don't leave your laptop in the library, Izzy. That, that would be a good idea. Turn on the light. What is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the other side of the wall. That's interesting. The old set of blueprints shows a tiny room behind the furnace which isn't on the modern blueprints. And the modern blueprint includes a drawing of the furnace and a bunch of numbered valves. Dupin? I've seen that name before in Hollowell's journal. So you want to pull these things in the correct order. Three is fine, but five is more. Even 19 defeats four. If... Should just seven become lore, at least two will find the door. So we're gonna pull them in 
in this order. Three. Uh, let's see. Four. Five. Six. Good. Okay. Didn't mess up. And time to see who Kareem? the culprit is. What are you doing here? Apparently the same thing you are. Looking for the treasure Rita Hollowell hid. Is that it? What is it? An old manuscript? By Edgar Allan Poe. Never published. He told her where it was when he was on his deathbed. When he died, she took it and ran off so Rufus Griswold wouldn't end up with it. At least I think that's what happened. You found all that out while you were researching that paper? When I do research, I do research. Although truth be told, all I knew with relative certainty is that she'd hidden something in this building. I wasn't sure where. Which is why you became the Black Cat. I'm not the Black Cat. I didn't leave those notes. No, you blackmailed someone else into doing that for you. Two someones, actually. You're pretty smart. The question is, are you smart enough to live to tell the tale? I don't think so. Worst roommate ever! Oh my gosh! Nuts, the battery's dead. Nancy, oh... Well, here's a puzzle. So, with this puzzle, you want to click on the four things in the correct order. I think it's this one, two, three, four. That wasn't it. Okay, well then, let's see if we can find the correct order. Maybe two? That wasn't it. Yeah, this is kind of a tough puzzle, I guess. The one time Nancy's phone is dead. The one time I need your phone, Nancy, it, it, it dies. that one's one though. Bottom left is one. So it's bottom, I mean bottom right is one. It's not bottom left. Yeah, it could be, let's see. Is this it? No. What if bottom left is one? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, one, two, this could be it. Got it. Woo! Okay, so we avoided being cut into half. I, I understand being a fan of Edgar Allan Poe, but building a pit in a pendulum trap inside a high school is maybe going a little overboard. Yeah. So let's go. Uh, we get an ending scene when we go through this door. No, forget it. You're not going anywhere till you tell me what the heck is going on. Come on, Mel. It's too long a story. I need to go. You just entered my room through the wall. I want an explanation. I'll explain later. Now let me past. Stay right <gasps> there, Mel. You too? What is this? Well, for Corrine, it's over. Because of all the meticulous research she'd done, Corrine knew Rita Hollowell had hidden something written by Poe somewhere in Ramsey Hall. But without the clues that my investigation eventually uncovered, her only hope of finding it was by searching the entire building. And she couldn't do that unless most, if not all, of its occupants spent midterm break elsewhere, leaving their rooms unoccupied. So, she resurrected an old Waverly legend and attempted to frighten her classmates away with notes from the Black Cat, followed by well-timed accidents. 
And having stumbled upon Rachel and Kim's secret months before, she blackmailed them into writing and delivering the notes for her so that if anything went wrong, they would take the blame. But thanks to me and to Mel, who wouldn't even let me out of her room until I told her everything, Corrine got the blame and was promptly expelled, which is kind of too bad. She would no doubt have graduated at the top of her class if her greed, guile, and subconscious desire to retaliate against her classmates hadn't gotten the best of her. But some good did result from all this. For one thing, Megan's parents dropped their threatened lawsuit and allowed her to return to school. Fully recovered from her allergic reaction, she threw herself into her studies with a vengeance. Now, with Kareen out of the picture, the valedictorian contest has turned into an academic knockdown dragout between Izzy, Leela, Mel, and Megan. Which is a good thing. Not pretty, but good. Anyway, as for Rachel and Kim, Kareen made sure they got expelled too. But when some of Waverly's more influential alumni heard what had happened, they insisted the twins be unexpelled and even paid their tuition and board for the rest of the year. They contended that the audacious fraud Rachel and Kim had perpetrated stemmed from their determination to get a good education and hence should be rewarded, not punished. And you know, I have the feeling Rita Hollowell and maybe even her idol Mr. Poe, who was pretty darn good at making fiction seem like fact himself, would have very much agreed. In Mel's art history paper, what did she write about? I don't know, Mount Rainier? Wrong. But at least I got all the gossip. I got a lot of gossip in this game. <laughs> That's my only achievement. I don't know about you, but tornadoes have always fascinated me. So when I'm told a team of tornado chasers down in Oklahoma is having strange, sometimes life-threatening problems with its equipment, and I'm asked to join the team so I can try to figure out why, I immediately say yes, but once I arrive in Tornado Alley, I quickly discover that a line of storms severe enough to spawn a record-breaking string of twisters is not my biggest problem. I must also survive the diabolical actions of a teammate bent on sabotage. Join me as I learn firsthand which is more dangerous, Mother Nature or Human Nature, in my next adventure, Trail of the Twister. Yep, so, our friends Rachel and Kim do get to graduate after all, instead of being expelled. I like it, I think that's a happy ending, even if it might be a little unrealistic. Well, to be honest, their plan was a little unrealistic to begin with. It's like, okay, only one of you is going to graduate with the diploma, and then the other one is not gonna have a high school uh, diploma. Ugh. But now they both get high school diplomas! Hooray! So I think that should make it so um, Rachel is not the, the valedictorian. Who do you think won the valedictorian? The game leaves it open. We don't know who is the valedictorian. Hopefully uh, it's one of the nice characters. Hopefully. Not sure if it is though. It could have been Izzy. Yeah, I kind of wish we got a follow-up uh, to this. Like, another another game uh, later on, Nancy, Nancy sees a piece of paper about the valedictorian. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I, I just wish, I wish I knew who was the valedictorian, that's all. Yeah, it could have been Megan, Megan could have won. Yeah, that's always possible. I do love Mel's line. You just came in through my... <laughs> you came into my room through the wall. I demand an explanation. Layla could have been the uh, valedictorian too. The Waverly Academy founders. Ooh, what a stuffy group. The black cat strikes again. We all tried, but none of us were ever able to snatch the pebble from her hand. Now, should I put this in the oops pile or the I'm so very sorry pile? Ah, the elusive eyes closed blurry snapshot. <laughs> Many photographers spend years perfecting this technique, but to some of us it just comes naturally. 
The setting on my flash might be just a little too strong. Hmm, I must have been going through an abstract phase at the time. Play us off, graduation cut. So, most of the outtakes are just Nancy taking terrible pictures. Good to know. That's it for Nancy Drew. Warnings at Waverly Academy. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching us play the game, everyone.